Hi, we're at JDD 2016, the 11th edition of this amazing annual Java conference in a beautiful city of Krakow, and I'm here with Michał Kordas. So, Michał, tell us something about yourself. You've had a very interesting sh- session Monday morning, and it was about... That's right. It was about blazing fast feedback loops in the Java universe. It was basically about the collection of the technical practices that we can apply on a, on a daily basis to amplify the, you know, the, the feedback that we get from what we code, whether it works or not. Uh, but you know, it's, it's it's a technical conference. I haven't been to the talk, unfortunately, but it's somewhere well nearby on, on YouTube. Some examples. It, well, if I'm watching the, the the interview, why should I watch your session? Right, because it's very typical for the people to get angry when something breaks, when something doesn't work. And usually what they do is just they fix problem and they suffer. They silently suffer and they are not doing anything to improve the situation. And I strongly believe that continuous improvement um, should be happening all the time. And in this particular case, improvement would mean that if something broke and you spent a lot of time to investigate what happened, uh, that something was, was, was poor, the feedback, the quality of feedback was poor, next time it should be better, it should be faster so that you can react quicker so that you have just more time for the pleasant things like coding. Or more time for more newer pain, because maybe, well, if my feedback cycle is shorter, I'll get it more, then I'll get more pain as well, as part of the deal. Yeah, it may happen. However, um, it is also about the feedback about the code that you produced. So you produce something and you want to know whether it is meeting all the quality criteria. So um, if you code something, it should um, also provide the fast feedback for the user. Uh, so that what you produce uh, is supposed also to to give you faster feedback. So generally, the solution that you create uh, is more useful. Okay, so that's feedback for the user, for the developer. Is it like testing, like unit testing fast, or is it uh, user testing? So within weeks, within days, within months, what's 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 the rationale? What's what's the scale? Uh, actually, it's about everything. So whenever you, whatever you do, every action you do, <clears throat> you should learn pretty quickly whether it works or not. Uh, and this information should be for you. So if if there was some development mistake, you should know about it. Uh, but whenever something pops up <clears throat> later, you should also be able to investigate what happened fast. So assuming there is a developer or a somebody working with software and they would like to start looking at your technique obviously where well, there is your there is your talk but are there any other sources or, or, or for inspiration uh, I think it's just daily life and observing what is going wrong and observing all the ways that is happening uh, and whenever you observe some waste do not uh, just get angry and you know just suffer silently always try to make situation better so just Google stack overflow um, ask friends, go to conference. Do not, do not let things being not improved. How has it helped your personal, or well, in your personal case? Um, it actually <clears throat> gives me um, much more information whether uh, what I do is production ready. Uh, so right now uh, we can safely deploy to environments and to production. Uh, without you know, asking question whether it is safe, whether it will work, because we have very clear feedback whether our solution are deployable and releaseable or not. Uh, so that uh, there is no, you know, this stabilization sprint when we need to uh, integrate and fix things last minute. So the pace is much more stable. So I come to work and I more or less know what to expect. I, I'm expecting, you know, fast feedback about many things, but I do not expect any large surprises. Okay, and uh, so if I'm doing software, a software product, and I have a series of tests and a series of environments that the software gets promoted through, ideally automatically, and, it, and I know that, oh, it went all the way to the pre-prod, so I can safely click deploy, is that that, or is that something else? Yeah, that's, that's it, uh, but it's not as simple as it. Uh, you need to design this properly and actually there is a very wide variety of the checks that need to be run uh, on this pipeline and also it's it's an art to make those checks fast uh, as we want to run through this pipeline in minutes ideally. 
so it requires a lot of technical excellence actually to get into that stage, especially when the uh, application grows. And even if it's splitted, then there are many smaller applications that still need to interact and still we need to be sure that they integrate correctly. Well, but I really hope that's all covered in your session video. Uh, this is, well, the 11th uh, JDD, and there is a lot of new speakers here this year with us. Uh, do you remember how you started doing public speaking at, at conferences? Right, so I started uh, with being inspired that I could actually tell the similar things as, as the guys in conferences. So I started as an attendee. Uh, knowing that also I have some interesting things that I could talk about and share with others. And I've started with just making internal uh, presentation to my colleagues within company. So I've gathered like 50 people internally. Uh, we ordered some pizza and I've just, well, I was just talking what we did. And then I just received nice feedback. Yeah, you should go to conference. You should tell more people this may be interesting also this should be improved as, as it was not ideal at the beginning. And then, then I started with smaller events, uh, like evening ones with uh, just, just two or three talks, uh, when, when people also taught me that, okay, those things should be improved, changed better, and then I get enough confidence just, just to be present around the larger ones. So somebody thinking about starting public speaking right now, they should follow that path? Would you say it was a good one? Um, I think, yes, uh, very low amount of people have natural skills so that they could, without any preparation and without any feedback earlier, go into, you know, big publicity and talk. Um, of course, there are people like that and uh, it's great if someone can, but I think the majority of people, they, they need rather hard work to get into that stage. It's not something that you are born with, it's rather, you know, the process that takes a few months at least, uh, just, just to gather confidence so you, you won't be surprised by, by the events that may be happening. Okay, and well, there is an old Chinese proverb which is, or a curse, uh, may you live in interesting times. And 2016, when computer science, there is a lot of things happening and changing. What's your most favorite, more, most interesting thing that you find in uh, near computers and, and development and software in general right now? I think it's about splitting things into smaller ones. So I get great pleasure uh, with working uh, with, with small projects. So the, what, what we were doing last year were rather, you know, putting things into bigger monoliths. But right now, by splitting them, I, I get real pressure with working with small solution that is tested and, and deployed within minutes. Uh, however, a lot of new challenges occur, how to integrate them correctly and how to test them correctly. So, so that's the trend that I'm observing and, and looking into it deeply. Okay, and what do you think will be the theme behind JDD 2017? Uh, I think uh, there might be something more about web solutions. So I've seen during this uh, conference uh, things like backendless testing and webpack things. So we are getting more and more cross-functional. So Java developers may want to look into web stuff as well. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, well, probably see you next year. Yeah, see you. Thank you very much. Bye.